It's Crackalackin' everyone, AJ here. Today we're going to learn how to download all the graphics in our backend inventory graphics tab within our inventory tracking system. The reason you probably want to do this is number one, to upload all these to a personal website, or number two, just to have all your graphics in a filed format on your local computer. Let's go ahead and jump in. So first thing you want to do is head to your inventory tracking system. Go to your backend inventory graphics tab right here. Now what you want to do is click file, download. You want to download as that CSV file right here. So once that kind of picks it up right here, it's going to have us download it. I'm just going to put in our download folders. I'm going to call it just test download graphics. It doesn't matter what you call it. Um, just remember where you saved it to. After we got that up, we are going to open up Spider. And if you have never used this program before, go ahead and look in the links uh, below and there should be tutorials on how to download and how to get this Spider application so we can run Python to do all these downloading of these image addresses. Okay, so once that gets up, if this is your first time doing it, you'll probably just see a blank screen like that. But I'm going to go ahead and open up the Python script um, that I myself designed for you guys to use. Um, AJ, myself, should have sent this to your, put it in your Google folder, uh, in that resources folder. If you don't have it, go ahead and reach out to me. I'll email it over. So I'm going to go ahead and open a file. We're going to go ahead and hunt down that Python file. So it's in here. In my CTO files will go in here and it is this one right there. So once this opens up, perfect, we got the code there. No need to edit anything. We'll go ahead and click play. Once we hit play, this little window is going to pop up. This is called a graphical user interface, also known as a GUI. And it has two buttons, well actually three buttons, but these two buttons right here. First one is we're going to select that CSV file we just downloaded. Um, and then the second one is we're going to actually choose the folder that we want to download all the images into. Once we have that up, we go ahead and click this button. And it makes all the magic happen. Let's go ahead and select the CSV file. Uh, that was my downloads. Uh, test graphics right here. I'm going to click enter. And then it shows you the path of where you actually selected that, which is kind of nice up here. Now, uh, the folder I want to download all these images to. So for best practices, I would have one central folder on where all these graphics are going to be located on your personal computer. I just named mine Backend Inventory Graphics Downloaded. Click on that. Then within here, you want to have batch folders, which denotes when you actually downloaded these files into your local computer or when the last time you actually ran this code was. So since today is third, uh, or no, it's the 27th of March, we're going to go ahead and select this folder. Nothing's in there. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, and additionally, before we do that, if you don't um, have a folder already named in there, we could go ahead and create a new folder name, name it whatever, and select that folder. But we're going to go ahead and select this one. We'll click choose. So it's got that. Now we're going to hit this button, and all the magic's going to start happening. So now what's going on here is it is going to be downloading every single graphic that we have. Um, and it's going to say the progress right there um, and when it is done. So I'm going to pause there. I'll be right back and we'll reconvene after this finishes. Okay, perfect. Looks like it's all done. Made myself a bowl of cereal while that was going through. Now, just to verify that those all download, let's go ahead and head into our folder, which we saved those to. I'm going to go into back inventory graphics. There they all are. We got the bounce house, all that fun stuff in there. Beautiful. Um, awesome. If anyone has any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them down in the comments area. And if you have just any questions on what this does, feel free to drop a comment. We'd love to connect and show you how it all works. Thank you.